In the previous video, we have implemented create event by making use of Angular routing, by routing between the main page that is all events page, which is our home page, to create event. So we navigated between these two pages and we had provided these two buttons, save and cancel button in our previous video. Now it's time to understand how we can implement from create event, whenever I am clicking on this cancel button, it should navigate me back to the main events page because I am canceling the event creation, right? If I'm clicking on save, it should create the event. If I'm clicking on cancel, it should cancel the event. But, uh, but for save functionality, let's see in the future videos where we can create Angular form over here. Once we fill the form and click on save, it should save those details and it should be displayed on our main page. Another event should be created over here and the details should be displayed on the main page that we'll see later for now let's implement this cancel button okay let's shift to visual studio code so inside create hyphen event dot component dot ts okay this class we are going to implement cancel button action okay here we have provided button type equals button class equals btn btn hyphen default bootstrap styling we have provided for this and here is a label for the button. So here we have to provide click action, click event in such a way that whenever it is triggered, it should navigate back to the main page. That is the events page. Okay. So let's do that now. After this def definition of class, we have to provide click event, click equals what should be triggered. We will trigger a method over here that is a function we are going to define in such a way that whenever we perform click event on this button that function should be invoked and respective action should be performed so inside here i am going to define cancel okay so whenever i am clicking on this button that is cancel with label cancel it should trigger this method that is cancel method and this implementation we have to provide inside our create event component class so insert create event component class before we use this whenever we click on this cancel button it should navigate right so for performing navigation we we again need angular routing so to include angular routing here we have to first inject that inside our constructor so let's create a constructor over here and we have to inject we'll create a private local variable for this as router and we have to inject router here okay and this will import router from angular slash router okay so we have injected router here now we can make use of this router which we have created locally for this create event component and we can navigate to the back to the main page so let's implement that how we can implement here you can see the cancel action right so we have to provide method implementation inside our class okay let's provide that so cancel so inside this method i have to make use of this router which i have declared locally that is this dot router dot navigate and where i have to navigate to here this will take an array of arguments this navigate will take array of arguments where we have to pass the path for it where exactly i have to navigate to you can see here that navigate method will take an array of url fragments right with which to construct the tar target url this is uh, where you can see okay intellisense is just giving us more info about this navigate method you just provide cursor over here you can see more details about it this method okay so here we are going to pass the path where we want to navigate to when this action is performed. Which action? Cancel action. When I perform cancel action on this button, that is whenever I click on this cancel button inside create event, where it should navigate to. That's what we are implementing here. So we have to navigate to slash events. Okay. Let's save these changes. Now you can see that in this page, now when we are going to all events, the main home page will be displayed where all event details, all list of events are displayed over here. Whenever I'm clicking on create event, it will navigate here. From here, we have provided another implementation where 
on click of this cancel button it should navigate back to all events let's see how that works now okay let's freshly run this project by making use of npm space start okay so our project is getting compiled So our project got compiled successfully and it got hosted on localhost colon 4200. Now I'll open this link. Okay. So our application got loaded on localhost colon 4200 slash events. This is our main page. That is all events page. Now I'll go to create event page. Now if I click on cancel button, it is going to navigate back to slash events if you can observe url over here whenever i'm clicking on create event it is going to slash event slash new which we have provided in routes right slash event slash new create event component right so it is navigating here so when i click on this cancel button observe here it is navigating back to slash events so we are coming from create event page to the main page so whenever we don't want to create an event, suppose we have filled in some form and we don't want to create an event, I want to go back to the main page. We can click here and go back, but this is another option where we want to cancel the event creation by clicking on this button. It is going to the main page. Okay. So we have implemented cancel action so far. So in the next video, let's discuss on how we can guard. That is activation, can activate, can deactivate. These properties we will see about the route guards okay because so far if you observe whenever i am navigating to if you observe here slash one if i give it is navigating to the first event and if i click here it is navigating to the slash two event right so so far whenever we are navigating which are events present in our main page it is fine it is navigating successfully what if i give something which is not valid for example i am giving 42 here you can see the blank data this should not appear right our application has to handle this has to guard this has to guard this routing and it should indicate a message saying that you are the your page is not found just go back to some other page something some message has to be displayed and that error has to be handled we should not be able to navigate this and show blank details like this so this we will handle in our next video okay thank you so much for watching guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos.